Hey guys, before we get into uh, what has sold on eBay this week, I do want to point out you will see some sports cards that um, that I flipped some, for some pretty good profit. And uh, I just, you know, some of you are probably into sports cards now, or maybe maybe at the very least you're dabbling in it just to try to uh, turn a profit because that's the it thing right now. You know, all of us resellers we're going to the hottest things. And um, if you're if you're interested in that, check out my other sports cards videos. I already have a couple out. Uh, I will be putting more out in the future where I talk about investing and collecting. And um, I'll also be doing some pack bre pack breaks and box breaks. So look for those. Um, you know, that's going to be my small contribution of just giving back to the hobby a little bit. I'll be giving away some sports cards. And um, I've already done that once. Uh, check out the, the football card video from a couple of videos back. Uh, a couple of people have claimed some sports cards um, in that video, and uh, but I still have some left. The Packers and Bengals are not available, So, but if you are uh, a fan of any of the other teams that, that I haven't mentioned, go check out uh, that video, see if there are any cards that you would like, and uh, just email me. The address is in the description and uh, I'll get those cards to you. But uh, with that said, let's check out what's sold this week on eBay. All right. Um, back before I took my long break, back in October from uh, making YouTube videos, I was doing a what, sold, what has sold on eBay this past week, and I'm gonna start that back. Um, except today I'm gonna do the first couple of weeks of February since I did not do the first week. And I'm going to start here at the top, and you'll see that uh, my most recent sale is a pair of Hager dress pants. Uh, you're going to see some items that I've had on sale here. And um, I, uh, I actually have changed my selling strategy where I was doing free shipping. And I've just been experimenting uh, since the new year by actually charging shipping. And um, these, these prices look fairly cheap, but two things I want you to understand is the buyer has paid shipping. And uh, like in this case, they paid priority uh, flat rate shipping or um, flat rate envelope shipping. But also a lot of these items that you'll see that's, uh, that sell for less than 15 bucks are items that I just paid a dollar for and that I got on sale day at Goodwill or other thrift stores. Um, because for the longest time now, going all the way back to last spring, I've really been focusing on trying to get things for a dollar or less, but absolutely uh, only spend, you know, three dollars or more when um, I know that it's it's a an item that I can flip for a 10x or more. But um, I've really been snatching up a lot of those dollar items that I know that um, they may be kind of long-term holds, but you know they're uh, they're giving me a, a steady rate of return as I grind away and and look for the big flips. Um, I'm also selling sports a lot more sports cards now. Obviously, sports cards are very hot. Uh, even you see uh, the investor um, websites or um, the money channels, MSNBC and um, Bloomberg and all that. They're talking about um, sports cards because they're super hot. Uh, you can see that um, you'll see some sports cards in here that I'm, I'm starting to list and sell. And I've been buying over the last year, um, buying some higher end sports cards that uh, hopefully here soon you'll start seeing that I'm flipping some of those are baseball cards that I was hoping to flip as the 2021 season would get ready to start. So hopefully you'll see those show up soon. Um, but you're, you're going to see a few down here in a minute that, I, that I've already sold and turned a decent profit on. Uh, this hat here, this DC hat, came out of a box of hats I bought for $10. Um, you know, as you can see, I've, this hat sold for uh, more than what I paid for the box, and there were like uh, 12 hats in the box. Um, and others were are baseball hats that I've gotten listed as spring training's get, starting up soon, and baseball season's gonna be underway, and they're gonna be hats that I know that will sell in the spring as people are excited about baseball. Uh, a kid's jacket here that I paid a dollar for, and a Reebok athletic shirt. Once again, uh, you can see these little dashes here. I always like to mark the ones that I know that I paid a dollar or less for. Um, that's how I know they're a dollar or less, and these little dashes at the end. And it just helps me as I go through. And, and you know, when I see it sell, I look at it and like, oh, 
yeah, I only paid a dollar for that, so I pretty much know exactly what kind of profit I made on it. Um, I love picking up Columbia, the outdoor shirts. Uh, this person got a great deal on this shirt. I know it's kind of late in the season or whatever for, for long to be buying long sleeves. I had it listed for $25. Normally shirts like this do in the fall, like early in the fall, they sell for this much or maybe 20 bucks. But this one didn't. And, you know, it's it's um, it's bright colors. And, and from my experience with Columbia shirts, the people who buy them, the men who buy them tend to go for the the more of the, the hunter type colors, which so I get it. You know, that's probably what was working against me there, but I still made a little money off of it. Uh, some more football cards. Chris Godwin, part of the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I sold a lot of his cards. A uh, person got a solid deal on those, uh, but I only paid like 3 or $4 for that lot because I bought them all together off somebody on Macari um, back before the football season even started because I was anticipating that Tampa Bay would be um, in the playoffs. I really didn't picture them winning the Super Bowl at the time, but I did buy some lots of cards of Chris Godwin, uh, Tom Brady, um, Mike Evans, and so forth, just to prepare for that, and I've been flipping those cards. Uh, T-shirts, Western shirts, T-shirts and Western shirts, they're, they're my bread and butter, have been for about seven years now. One of my favorite pickups here were these Duke T-shirts. Um, these were, uh, these are 1980s. Uh, early 90s vintage dead stock and they actually still smelled kind of new that was what was crazy about them when I picked them up um, as you can see I was I was shooting for the moon with them but I ended up selling them for $22 and the person paid for priority shipping but um, you know only paid six bucks total for that lot uh, more t-shirts uh, dress shirts ranger boat hat Toys, uh, these are kind of left over from my um, fourth quarter um, toy buys I'm back in August, which is a good time to buy toys in the clearance section in your retail stores. I picked up um, a bunch of Call of Duty minifigures. I've sold a lot of them, uh, but you know, like this right here, there are three uh, in this lot. I paid a dollar a piece for them. Person ended up getting them for $10 and paid shipping, so I made some off those. Uh, some shorts. A vintage Bose speaker shirt, kid shoes. I expect kid shoes to start picking up again in the spring. I, I tend to tell, or I, I tend to tell, I tend to sell um, some more kid shoes, I guess, in anticipation of um, just spring and summer. You know, kids um, or parents uh, buying those shoes, which makes sense. I mean, kids, you know, I have a son. It, it seems like we're always having to buy new sizes every three months or whatever. So, um, you know, it's. It's, it seems like it should be just a, a constant flow year round, but really it takes off in the spring for me. Kids shoes do. Um, paid a dollar for these Gap pants. And once again, sports card, SpongeBob t-shirt, Steph Curry. Uh, one thing I've done for years is um, buy retail packs and boxes that are in the clearance section. Uh, specifically just pulling rookies out of them and putting them in binders and just put them out of sight, out of mind. And then five to seven years later, taking them out and looking at them and seeing what um, stars, rookie cards I have. And um, I didn't, you know, I've, I've been a sports car collector since I was eight years old and I never, back in 09 or in 2010, I wasn't buying a whole lot of basketball cards. So I know I specifically bought this box or pack on clearance just to pull the rookie out of it. So you're talking about either pay probably 10 to $14 for the box, or I paid maybe a couple of bucks for a pack and uh, pulled the Steph Curry rookie, sold it for $100 13 years later, or I'm sorry, 11 years later, 12 years later. I'll get it right. And um, this Kevin Durant rookie, same way down here. I actually remembered this buy because I bought this out of a uh, rookie set that Topps was selling that year in 2007. And it was a pretty solid rookie class. Uh, with Durant and I know Greg Oden, those were the two top guys, and Oden didn't amount to much, but Durant did. And I can just remember there being a rack full of these packs. There were 14 cards in the set, and I just bought one. It was like three bucks. Um, I wish I'd bought them all now, but um, sold uh, the Kevin Durant for $100. And these two cards are gradable, so the people who got these are likely going to get them graded, and they may. 
um, get it graded and, and be able to make a profit off of it. I hope they do. Um, that way, you know, um, it, it makes, you know, they can make money. It makes me feel good when I can make money and they make money. Uh, I have no problem with that. Uh, I just, right now, the turnaround time being so slow with grading cards, I'd just rather not do it. Uh, I like buying graded cards uh, that other people get graded and holding on to those and flipping those. Uh, I don't like, you know, right now having to send in cards that get graded. Uh, I started buying plush, uh, um, plush toys back in the in the fall. Uh, Girl Hustle. I watched some of her videos on uh, plush toys, and I know she watches some of my videos. So yeah, Girl Hustle. I'm giving you a uh, plug here. So please comment in the section so people or in the comments below so people can see. Uh, your channel and go over and check check you out especially these older videos with these plush toys because you did teach me some things and um, so I start buying those again I, I find it uh, pretty crazy that people will buy <clears throat> um, you know just well not not this one I understand why they bought this one this is new but I have some used ones that I've sold in the past and it shocks me that uh, people will buy the used plush toys um, it's just not my cup of tea, but um, there are some that sell, and um, it's very, it's pretty profitable. Uh, I love selling the Swiss Tech pants when I can find these. These are popular with uh, some hikers. Um, once again, more t-shirts. Moving along here, another uh, or some more Western shirts. You know, the bread and butter t-shirts and Western shirts, polos, and uh, well, the American Eagle um, pocket tee. Um, the two Derek Jeter rookies that you see here, the one with the scuff case right here, and this one down here, I actually bought these cards, one for $40 and one for $42 last spring, and uh, I bought them with the intentions of flipping them, holding them and flipping them. I had a feeling that Derek Jeter's cards were going to go up, and uh, they did. Um, I bought this, or both of these, off of a forum excuse me, one of the sellers um, kind of did me wrong here, sent me a, a case that was scuffed. They didn't say anything about it. Um, I just mentioned to the guy, like, hey, you know, you may not want to do that to people in the future, but I held on to the, I held on to the card. Um, but as you can see, I sold it for cheaper, which I needed to uh, because I put in the description that uh, they'll need to get the, um, the, uh, the, or the card re-slabbed in a, um, a, a new case with PSA, whether it be at a card show or they send it in, and it's gonna cost money to do so, so I left some wiggle room for them to do that. Um, but the card is perfectly fine. It's just that I also collect PSA uh, cards or, and sets, and you want, the, you, know, you want the cases to be protected. You don't want scratch case, cases, or there's a pretty bad scuff on this one. But um, yeah, but anyway, uh, $82 total for those two cards and $349 were the sales. And, um, so it's definitely, definitely good flips. Um, Wildcat Ashtray, I paid a dollar for, um, at a yard sale, I think. Maybe at a thrift store, I don't remember. I didn't even mark it that I picked it up for a dollar, but I know I did. And, um, uh, dress shirts. I haven't been selling a whole lot of dress shirts lately. That's been a bread and butter item. The Stafford dress shirts and other brands like the Smicklesons and um, um, even right down to like Apartment 9 dress shirts. I uh, tend to sell those fairly often, but it's been slow lately. Um, so, you know, anytime something starts slowing down, I, I start asking myself, do I want to keep picking those up? And um, now that I'm starting to go back out and buy more inventory, I'm kind of staying away from dress shirts because I have, um, if you look at my store, I have, I'm pretty, I'm stacked pretty deep with inventory and if they're slowing down, I just, I just don't want to keep buying something and, and causing, um, my storage space to be limited with items that are not moving so fast. Um, Luca, a, um, insert rookie here. Uh, it's not one of his... Uh, more expensive inserts, but I actually pulled a rookie card and two insert rookies of Luca out of the same box that was on sale. And um, um, the rookie I sold for like 90 or 100 bucks or so um, uh, close to a year ago. Um, and then I sold one of the other inserts for like 20, and then I sold this one, as you can see, for um, 
14 and uh, the box it was on sale for like 12 or 13 bucks so I, I did well with it these were just some cards here out of my collection from way back um, I sold a lot of those for five dollars swim trunks uh, swim trunks are starting to pick up about this time of year and I've got a lot of swim trunks and I've got a lot of swim trunks I need to to get listed um, they do well for me starting about this time of the year and actually goes all the way up to about October there's a big window there that I do really well with swim trunks and that late part of that window uh, September October um, I love listing them there because it seems like other people slow down and they don't list them but I just keep on put them in the store uh, home interior stuff is really starting to um, well I shouldn't say starting to be hot it's been like a year now um, little items like this um, uh, this, this is a porcelain porcelain leopard that I paid a couple of bucks for I actually picked up a couple of home interior pieces of artwork of lines today uh, for three dollars a piece that uh, comp for uh, 35 40 bucks on eBay as a set and uh, I've got to get those listed um, Stafford uh, dress shirt here that I that I bought new for like six bucks in Goodwill uh, sold for 25 uh, another dress shirt here and more basketball cards and baseball cards out of my personal a um, lot of cards actually I'm getting into January now I should have stopped but yeah all of this I haven't put on I could keep going I can go all the way back to November considering I haven't made videos since October but I'm gonna stop stop there I wasn't paying attention where I was at with the dates but um yeah, so that's that's it, what I've sold so far, so far in February. I'm going to uh, try to put a video out each week now. You're going to see a lot of sports cards in the future, hopefully, as I get those listed and, the, and as the market stays hot. But uh, thank you all for checking it out, and uh, you can catch it again next weekend to see what's selling on eBay. All right, you guys take care, and I'll see you next week.